welcome back to Curious the Common Game. Today, in deck number 927, we're going to talk about A Brother's War Uncommon, uh, Lauren, the Disciple of History. And once again, I want to remind you that this deck is brought to you by our wonderful patrons. If you would like to sign up, there's a link right down below. And Dragon Shield, our sponsor, uh, who has kindly sponsored with me to spread the word. Now, this particular deck is in Dragon Shield Yellow Mats. Uh, you can find them at your local game store. And with that out of the way, let's get into and see what we're doing with Lauren. Now, Lauren is a 4-mana 3-3. I mean, it's white. We're not getting to the great rates, right? Whenever Lauren or another legendary creature enters the Battlefield under your control, return target artifact from your graveyard to your hand. Now, so we want a couple of things. The deck wants a lot of legendary creatures and artifacts to bring back with them. Because, I mean, if you don't use the trigger, it's like you missed value, right? So, um, those are the categories I have. I don't have my normal ramp card draw. I have legendary creatures. And I have artifacts, and everything is pretty much comprised of those. So let's look at our legendary creature tribal, shall we? Um, I wish there's one card I wish that I had in here, which was the um, oh the Kamigawa coat of arms for legends. Um, Y'all know what it is. You're screaming at me. I know. I hear. Uh, but Tishar works very well with historic because. Um, I mean, let's face it, artifacts and legendaries are pretty much what this deck's all about. Tomic, Jareth Leon the Titan, Yose, I mean, giant flying dragons are always good. Uh, Livio, Maverick Fane. Now, Rebecca also does work because artifacts you control have protection from each converted mo uh, mana cost among artifacts you control, so... It, if you start getting out the chain of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, that's a lot of cards that they can't use to target your artifacts. And it's, uh, the the 7 number comes to mind. We'll, we'll get there. Evra, uh, one of those cards that can do dangerous things if you don't block it. Uh, so, it's pretty big. Um, to Micaeus the Lunark, just making that team. Lulu! The Holly Font. Zakalpa is another big one, uh, too. <laughs> Just, I mean, if we gotta have legendaries, why not have uh, the big the big dinosaur? For some reason, in my mind, this flies, but it, and I'm always shocked when I read it and it doesn't fly. Celestine, uh, definitely an angel, but not an angel, because it was 40k. Uh, Loshin. Arden. Jazal Goldmane. Radiant, SRAM, uh, yeah, I know SRAM is probably not the best. There are some equipment in the deck. Thank you. Uh, is some R's and equipment in the deck, but not a whole lot. There's no vehicle. Heliod, Sun Crown, Bravo Steel Legion. Now, Yoshimaru is, uh, whenever the legendary form enters the battlefield, you control, put a 1 1 counter on it. I mean, for one man is one one. That's that's pretty good. And of course, there's Izamaru. Thank you, Clay. Clay donated that card. Um, but then we have our artifacts, of which there's a bunch. <laughs> um, the Commander Sphere. I mean, it's is it the best card draw in white? I don't know, but it's up there. It's sad. Um, Avison's Memorial. Now, some of these artifacts, like Avison's Memorial, um, well, I mean, this is indestructible, so I'll, I'll, I'll only get only way to get rid of it is to exile it. But uh, uh, other things are just problems, like the Black Blade Reforged. And that's a problem that meets a lot of removal a lot of the time, so we can just get it back when we cast our next legend. A Heater and Archive there for card draw, like I said, the Pristine uh, Talisman. O-Stone, O-Stone's not bad. <laughs> um, Marble Diamond, Steel Seraph, 
the thopter shop, making them flying blockers, which is definitely what it is. Uh, the Circle of Loyalty. Whoa. Dreamstone Kedron. Platoon Dispenser. Dispeller's Capsule. Now, this is a great one to get back. Uh, being able to get back your disenchant over and over is uh, pretty useful. Platinum Angel, there we go. There's a there's a target that people love to kill. <laughs> oh, the Chromatic Star, it sacks itself to go to the graveyard. You want to go to the graveyard because you need to draw that card, and then you can play it from your graveyard to get you a little small engine going there until you find something better. Uh, our Millery Sphere, Mind Stone, Wayfarer's Bauble, Burnished Heart, Mistress Bauble all put themselves into the graveyard from just using them, and you kind of want to use them. Um, I, I mean, Mistress Bauble's not in this deck, but you know, hey, it draws you that card. Swiftfoot Boots, uh, Spectral S Searchlight. Here again, I know Thran Temporal Gateway. This thing has Brothers of War has really gotten its use out of uh, Thran Temporal Gateway and um, like Dark Steel Forge. Don't have a forge in here. Uh, I didn't feel like it was a high high enough concentration of artifacts to justify it. Um, the Worm Coil Engine is a great great card. Uh, Relic of Legends, silly. You can get a ton of mana out of this thing. Uh, Pithing Needle, Soul Ring, Steel Hell Kite, all good. Now our uh, other category. Uh, I say others like uh, Day of Destiny. It doesn't fit either one of those categories, but it does fit into the deck with the legendary theme. Uh, board the Weatherlight to go and get something historic. Um... Far Traveler. I mean, it is a legend, uh, and you get to plop something out. Make a stand, that anti-wrath. Uh, Holy Day, because people don't see fog effects coming. They never do. And they will swing out and leave themselves defenseless because they're out the striking. Fog effects work. And then a good old-fashioned ghostly prison. Now, our removal suite, there is there is some board wipes here. Um, I mean, we have the Phyrexian Rebirth that's going to leave us with the creature. Depopulate, because uh, I didn't have actual wrath. Um, planar Cleansing. Now, I'm not really worried about the Destroy All Non-Land Permits. I know we have a lot of artifacts, but we also have ways to get them back. You know, uh, Urza's Ruinous Blast, that's, a, that's one you kind of knew that was in there. Um, Sword of Plowshares. Spot on spot removal, uh, disenchant, tempest of light. This is one global enchantment destruction. I think is probably under utilized. Underutilized. Yeah, there was in my mind it wasn't pronounced that way, <laughs> but it it is good. There are a lot of problematic enchantments out there. Um, tranquility type effects are. Just good to have around. And then, of course, we have our Return to Dust. Leads us to our non-basic lands. Um, Ijano Seat of the Empire. Uh, I, I mean, you discard it, deals four damage to attack your blocking creature, and you probably are only going to do it for a white mana. Temple of the False God, uh, uh, I like to do in monocolor decks. Uh, Castle Arden Veil. Why these lands weren't legendary, I don't know. Because Castle Arden Veil sounds like a very specific place, does it not? Um, Untadaki. Uh, yeah. Taps for two for, for, for legend spells, but sometimes that really helps to give you that one more... How many times, if I had one more mana, cast my commander. Now it's there. Uh, Demolition Field. For that problematic land. Uh, Ancient Den. And then a Blast Zone. Uh, 
love Blast Zone. It has gotten me out of binds a couple times. Uh, I told you about it the last couple of decks, but uh, it's a good card. Um, and that is it. That is it for today. Uh, I do appreciate y'all watching. I know some of the uncommons are not that exciting, but this one is kind of fun. Uh, I've had a chance to play it and play against it. Uh, so uh, thank y'all so much for watching. But right now, we're going to shuffle and cut.